You know when you take on a project and everything is literally <laughs> but you're determined to get it working? Well, I've started to get it working. This is that garden lighting project. Let me show you what I've been up to today. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, there'll be a couple of links in the description to these videos where you can see I started this. Nothing works. Everything is like wrecked and I'm gradually putting it back together. And that is one thing that I love about being an electrician is when you start getting things working again. It's just brilliant. We're in the John Deere and it doesn't, oh, oh. come on. Oh my God. Oh my God, I can't get it to go forward. I didn't turn it on. Right, off we go. So, now if I take you on a tour, we have a light working. New light working, full speed ahead. Light working, light working. That one, that was hidden. We now have that working. We have that one now installed and working, but it's just at the minute off the breaker. And I need to install, I've decided I'm going to install a timer. I've discussed it with my client. We're putting in a digital timer for these. I've become quite the expert on this. There's people watching me. It's very awkward. Ba da ba. Nope, wrong way. Nearly an expat. If I ever make enough money, I'm buying one of these. It is now 16.42 sort of time you want to go home really but I'm not going to I'm going to get this done but it's time for a cup of tea so with that shadow foam I'll show you what I created in the van in my little coffee section so check this out we have the kettle which I'm about to use I can take it out just spilt water everywhere or leave it in and plug it into the battery and get it going we have the cup holder spoon and I've cut all these bits out. So we've got tea bags, milk, brown sugar, coffee mate, and my New York coffee, which is awesome. If you ever need like coffee sachets, give this stuff a go. You get it in like B&M for a pound, it's lovely. So, tea time. So there's a couple of bits I need to install now which is involving a little bit of hoping for the best. One is we have an old Wilex board in here. This old Wilex board, I cannot get the RCBOs for it. I've tried loads of wholesalers, no one can get them, they don't make them anymore, and I don't really want to buy any off eBay second hand. So, I have got this little Proteus, it's a little EV garage consumer unit thing. And inside, we've got a 40 amp RCBO, a B16 breaker, and a 6 amp breaker there. So this is going to go there. I have purchased two of these 24 hour time guard timers. And this is going to go there or somewhere around there not decided yet so 24 hour timer why have we done that i know i could have used a photo cell couldn't use a pir because there's no point picking up the lights down here so we've gone for the timer because my client doesn't want it on all night he only wants it on for a certain amount of time to save some electricity so we've gone for the timer he can adjust it as he wants when he wants nice and easy so there we go I'll tell you what, doing the EV works great, but 
going back and doing normal electrical work. I love it. Got the radio on, time's getting on, don't even care, just enjoying it. It is now 18.42 and it is pitch dark. So what I've done, so now what's happening is this MCB is feeding this RCD and then this is then going to the time clock and then that's going back out to the lights. But this needs charging for 15 minutes before it'll work. So I'm gonna have a tidy up and then we'll see how we get on. I am doing an EV charger on an end of terrace new build and it's proving problematic. Again, this is a remote survey. Alexa, volume down. So what we have, oh, flickering lights. Hopefully that will settle. Alexa, volume down. So this is the adjoining wall and obviously the electric, the consumer unit and the supply is on this side, not on the external wall side. And I've been trying to find a route to get my cable outside. I'm having to use twin and earth and a cat five and then joining it in a box outside because I've got too many bends or I've got too many service panels to get around to get the bend on an EV Ultra in some trunking that's relatively discreet. So we've got this service boxing here and I'll drill the hole here. I'm just too scared to be honest. <laughs> and I moved it over a bit again and then there's something there. So I've had to bring it around and put another hole here. So I'm gonna put some trunking in and dress that up. I'll show you what's on the other side. So this is on the other side. And down in this little gap, we've got a pipe here that's going into that service panel ducting area and some more pipes. So I've managed to drill a hole through there where I'm gonna stick my junction box. But it's too risky coming all the way through. I don't wanna hit any of these pipes or anything like that. And then on the other side, I have another service panel. And inside here is all of this. So I couldn't go through the boxing in there I'm too scared to go through and hit the pipes. So I've had to bring it along and I've got my twin and which is gonna come out there and run trunking along here, up this corner and to the consumer unit. And I'm just gotta tidy this up now and dress it all in and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. The trunking that I'm using today is 25 by 40, which is the same depth as the skirt in. So hopefully it'll blend okay once I've dressed it in. So when you're corking up the trunk in, try and go as far along as you can in one go and keep it nice and quick. And you'll get a nice clean finish. And then just get a bit of tissue and pick up the excess. And you end up with a lovely bead. It just finishes off that trunking work when you've got to do it. And then I just use any excess just to fill any of the little holes that where the cuts aren't quite perfect. None of these walls are square at all, obviously. There's the charger, just finished my testing. And this is how the job looks. EV Ultra clipped underneath there. manage to get that joint box there. Then inside, all trunked along there. Moaning dog. Trunk in, trunk in, trunk in. Made off in there. CT clamp there, best I can do. Still loads to do today though. I'm back at that commercial job where these lights and these lights are not working. That's a reflection. Not working. The supply is basically lost somewhere and I've traced it back. It's on its own breaker and I've ditched that basically. There's two more supplies which come 
into this switch here. Personally, I don't like the idea of multiple supplies into a single switch because you have to isolate everything. And if you turn one set off, sometimes you think that the switch is dead when it's not. So what I've done is ditched the old supply and I've put a loop feed over, which has now turned those on, those on, and those on.